So I just wanted to talk a little bit about um, growing your own food, my experience growing my own food, um, and why I think it's such a such a awesome thing to do. Because, um, like, as a raw vegan, not just as a raw vegan, but um, it's just something I've noticed. Like with a lot of people who live this lifestyle is that I shouldn't say all but like many um, don't seem to be that interested in growing food maybe I'm wrong I don't know that's just my perception um, I wasn't really interested in gardening or anything like that either for the first year or two two years that I was that I was raw um, but I feel like it's something that can make a huge difference when you're like for anybody but particularly when you're raw vegan, fruitarian, raw till four, whatever. Um, so I just wanted to talk a little bit about that. Number one, like, well, okay, greens, first of all. If you're somebody like me who likes to eat a lot of big, like, a huge salad every day. Like, I'm probably eating a, about a pound of greens a day right now. If you're buying that from the store every day, that gets really expensive really quick. I remember I used to do that. Um, like, that's, that's a lot of money spending on greens. So, if you were to, if you can only grow one thing, grow a bunch of greens. Because, like, that's going to make a huge difference to your grocery bill and to the quality and taste of your salads. Like, it's, uh, it's amazing. So, like, yeah, I've got a bunch of lettuce right here that um, I'm going to start picking tomorrow. Um, this is, like, you know, why, why buy lettuce from the store where you can like have this it's like the taste is so so um it's not it's like a different thing a, a whole different thing so um yeah greens you know uh, i live in canada so uh you know we're, we're getting in coming into summer now so this is like the the season obviously there's you know a lot of things that just can't grow here but um you know strawberries this is like strawberry season right now um so yeah i just feel like you know when you're as somebody who is on this lifestyle like i feel like most of most people living this lifestyle are doing so because they take you know we take our health seriously we're invested in like being the best version of ourselves and i feel like part of that is like you know if you want to like eating the 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 highest quality food possible which is like food that you've grown yourself ideally ideally like my dream would be to grow all my own food uh, I can't do that living in Canada, at least not without a super fancy heated greenhouse. Um, but, you know, I'm doing everything I can, and uh, I'm just going to show off my tomatoes and cucumbers here, <laughs> because I think they look really good. Yeah, but you know, I mean, like, mo I think most of us probably live in colder climates, northern climates, where we can't grow all our own food. But the point is to just, like, do something, you know? Even if you just have, like, a little a little balcony if, in an apartment building, you know, you can still grow some basil or, like, some lettuce or something on your balcony. I don't know. Just do what you can. And, uh... I mean, I feel super lucky to have this big yard to play in and, um, you know, 
lots of space to grow a bunch of different things. Um, but, you know, I feel like the point I'm, I want to make is that no matter how much space you have, just like do something, grow something. It feels good and it tastes so much better and it's going to cut off, it's going to make your grocery bill cheaper too. So it's like, yeah, it's just worth it in every way.